Alrighty, so today I'm going to be going through how I establish um, a VO2 max report using data obtained during an incremental step test using the Cosmed Quark, which is my metabolic cart. This test was done on a rower. The machine will spit you out all of this data, which alone makes very little sense, just a lot of confusion. So we're going to be going through a little bit of a tutorial today on how I make sense of this data and then relay that in a port report to the client. This is just a template of my report. I'm going to leave the name of the, the even though these are real um, results from a real client, I'm going to need, leave their name as anonymous. So this is strictly just for educational purposes. So they keep going, it gets harder and harder and harder until failure, which for this person occurred at 336 watts, which is pretty impressive really. It's not easy to get over 300 watts on the rower during a test. So the first thing I like to find is their VO2 max. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. The first thing to make VO2 max graph is with the Cosmed Quark, you get this as your time, which doesn't really make sense. And it looks like it's in um, the format of, you know, 12 AM. Okay. So we want to change this to number. So we just go control one and then we can convert this 12 AM to number. So then it's in number format. So you're going to get a whole heap of zeros here. That's actually not quite zero. That is 0 0.0003819. Now to convert that into seconds. So we go equal. We multiply that result by the number of seconds in the day. So there's 8,000. 86,400 seconds in a day, which works out at 33 seconds. So at 33 seconds, this was their data. Then we just copy all of that all the way down to there. So the whole test took 880 seconds. So then to compare this against VO2 max, we go that, we copy that, and then we copy this line. We go insert charts scatter. So this is going to give us a graph like so. Now this graph measures their oxygen consumption relative to their body weight in a line up until VO2 max. And this is plotted against time, but we need to include all of the axes so the client can understand what this is. So we're just going to title it first. So the graph is going to be called VO2 max. Okay. So looking for their VO2 max. That's what we're looking for here on this one, this axis. So we go add chart element axis title primary horizontal here. We're looking at seconds. So this is the time in seconds which we can then use to re compare against the power output later on. And then in this column, primary vertical, this one, we have the oxygen consumption. So VO2 in milliliters, a kg per minute. So we always put the units in there as well because, um, milliliters per kg per minute is very different to milliliters a minute. So this is the relative to the body weight score, which is what we generally look for with VO2 max. All right. Now with our seconds, the axes format here at the moment, it's listed as 200, 400, 600, which isn't too helpful in our situation because Time stops went up every 30 seconds. So we want to change that. I'm going to change that to format axis. We're going to change that to 60. So that way it reflects minute increments. 
So every 60 seconds, now we've got a little line of where it happens. And you can see that the first 60 seconds, they were just sitting easy here. After that, they started exercising and you can see that oxygen consumption quickly rises, okay? Straight after they start exercising, it just goes up, okay? Then it starts doing its um, incremental steps. But there's a big difference, big jump from rest to where it starts. Here, you can see that's where the test finished. That's where they reached exhaustion and then collapsed. We'll just make that a little bit bigger. And then we go Control C. So we copy that and then we can bring that into their report. I like to make it a little bit wider. So that's nice and clear. So then to find out exactly where it hit, we know that it happened around the 780 mark roughly. So we go down to 780. This is gonna give us an area where it happened. We go over to VO2 max, which is this column here, follow that down. Now it was roughly around here. So we look for the biggest number there, which is 50.39. So 50.39 is this person's VO2 max. 50.39 milliliters per kg per minute. All right, so that's their VO2 max. And then it's also helpful. Some athletes are, are big, okay, so their, their oxygen consumption, so say you're measuring a rower rather than a cyclist, it can be kind of disheartening for them to see their um, relative score with VO2 max because they're so big and it gets divided by their body weight. It can be a better representation for these kind of athletes to show um, the relative score. So to see the relative score, it was, 44.33, so sorry, 4.433 liters of oxygen. So 4.433 liters per minute. So that's referred to as the absolute, and this is the relative. So there are VO2 max results. All right, guys, so I hope that you, um, that cleared a few things up for you. The next part I'm gonna be going on to is how to find the thresholds, which can often be the cause of some confusion. So we're gonna be looking for VT1 and VT2. All right, so finding the thresholds through ventilation. So to have a look at that video, check out that. It should be up in the corner somewhere, I hope. And I will see you soon.